Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat, Adonai. Welcome to the 6th Exodus program. Thank you for listening. The name of this segment is The End of the Edomites Race. Subtopic, The End of the Jewish Nation. I'd like to read to you the book of Obadiah. The words concerning the prophecy concerning Edom, Edomites, Hasmoneans, Sanhedrins. All these are the same people. Edomians, Edomites, Pharisees, Sadducees, all the same people, Assyrians, all the same people, let's begin, the vision of Obadiah. Thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathens. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small amongst the heathens. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thy heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose inhabitation is high, that says in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalted thyself, as the eagle, and though thou hast set thy nest amongst the stars, thence will I bring thee down, says the Lord. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would thy not have stolen till thou hast had enough if the grape gatherers came to thee but they not have some grapes how are the things of Esau searched out how are his hidden things sought up all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him shall I not in that day says the Lord even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mounts of Esau and thy mighty men O Teman shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter for the violence against thy brother Jacob shall Jacob's shame shall c cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, and they 
that the strangers carried away captive his foe. The foreigners entered into his gates, and they cast lots upon Jerusalem. Even thou was as one of them, but thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in a day that he became a stranger, neither should thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in a day of their destruction, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in a day of distress, thou should not have entered into the gates of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou should not have looked upon their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to escape, neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of his distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. As for ye have drunken upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathens drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down. And they sh shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall be, there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it, and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they shall of the plain of the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead, and the captivity of the host of the children of Israel shall possess that of Canaan, even to Zarephath and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sarephat, shall possess the cities of the south, and the survivors shall come out of Mount Zion to judge the mounts of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Okay, that ends the statement on the end of the, the people of Esau. There will be a few comments now before I end this segment. Um, There's a lot of things I can say on this segment that will be longer than what I've read to you. But the Edomites are very deceptive people. They, um, you know, the Bible says those who say they are Jews are not Jews.
of the synagogue of Satan. Now, uh, now the Jewish people would say that that would be us black people that are in America. And they would pay people thousands, millions of dollars to change the wording, the headings, propaganda, you would not believe. But um, these people, uh, I'm not worried about them. God's going to take care of them because God has given everything to Abraham, the seed of Abraham and the throne of Judah. It's not within Edom. It is the promises that is in it's in Israel, it's in Abraham's seed. So I don't have to argue about that. There's nothing to debate about that. There's nothing to contend about that. They can set up holidays, they can lie, they can spread propaganda. They can change their names and deceive the whole world. Doesn't matter. Because I know who made all things. I know who made time. And he gives life. And he set up kingdoms and he bring down kingdoms. I'm not worried about that. But the Jewish people, the Edomans, the Temanites, the Assyrians, Jewish, Esau, Edomites, Edomans, all the same people. The Sadducees, Mount Seer, Pharisees, not worried about it. Not worried. The Lord has already pronounced judgment. And the celebration of 70 years has already been completed. The scriptures concerning Daniel, the seven weeks are done and the sacrifices was cut off in 1948 as it reads in the book of Daniel when they end it they end the sacrifices and the 70 years is up this year in May all these things have been fulfilled it's only a matter of time now Uh, I'm not worried. But thank you for listening. This is the segment on the end. The prophecy concerning the Edomites. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.